See, I don't know. There's been so many stupid conspiracies. I don't even know how to how to even how do you even discern between them anymore, right? When there's so many. <laughs> I, and the thing is, if I bring one, like for example, there's one going on where people claim that there's some application out there that I've never used or heard of. I guess it's called Line App, and they're like, oh. Well, we found that the cell phone number that we know is yours because it was doxxed on the internet years ago, that that cell phone number is somehow associated with Line App. Now, Line App is an app that I guess is used for, for people who talk behind the scenes when they play mobile games. So it's obvious that because there is a Line App with your cell phone number associated with it, that that means you play mobile games and spend money on them. It's like, what? Like, how do you even associate that with that? And people keep bringing this up, like, just, like, two days ago. Someone on Twitter's talking about it. I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't know anything about this app. I don't use Line app. I don't even know what it is. And these people just say this shit. And then, like, okay, so how did I... When people brought this up, like, a year ago, when I first heard this conspiracy theory, people were like, well, how could this be possible? I was like, you realize if what you're saying is true, okay? If what you're saying is true that this exists, this line app, and that somehow there's a, an account with my phone number. Anyone could have done that, right? Because my phone number has been, was public years and years ago. If you remember when I actually registered my website, the fucking website doxed all my information, including my phone numbers and shit. So that's been public for how many years? So how is that evidence of anything? I don't even understand that at all. Like if my, if my phone number has been doxed years and years ago, right? How is it, like, like, I'll be honest with you, people have really gone out of their way to fuck with me in regards to, like, stupid menial trolling shit. Like, sign up Phil's fucking emails for dumb spam and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So, it's basically up to the point where, like, my information is so public, everyone, like, like, for example, I can tell you right now, I guarantee you, someone went out there and registered me for every fucking website under the sun. They have my name, they have my address, they have a phone number that's associated with me, they have an email addresses, right? I have my public email addresses, you guys know them. I guarantee you people sign me up for everything, all right? So that's like that's like saying, oh, there is a website that has an account that says Dark Side Bill. It has an email that we know is yours associated with it. So that way there's evidence you use that site. How? Anyone could go sign up for anything right now using my public information. But the thing is, they, they whip themselves into such a frenzy with this information that they then act like it's evidence of anything. It's evidence of nothing. Anyone with a logical brain can say, what are you talking about? Like, Phil was doxxed a million years ago and all his information is out there. There's, there's probably people on the internet who impersonate him all the time everywhere, right? So how is that evidence of anything? But the thing that really gets me is apparently this Line app, and again, I don't know much about it, I've never used it. Apparently the Line app is used for many different things. It's a, I guess it's just a chat app. It's like you chat on it, like a million other chat apps, okay? So how does an evidence that if, if I, anyone had a chat app with my number or whatever, how is the evidence that it's used for a mobile game or that, that you know what I mean? Like, even if, if that is the case that someone used my information and registered, it's, it's evidence of nothing. But you see what I'm saying? Like, they they literally create this insane situation where it's just, it doesn't even make sense logically, but that's evidence of something. It's evidence. And that's what they do is like, they every conspiracy somehow, because there's 20 million conspiracies that they made up about me, somehow they all become a body of evidence that says I'm a bad person or something. It's like, but none of it is true. It's all your shit that you made up or people doing things in my name or on the internet and shit. You see what I'm saying? And then it's like somehow that becomes evidence when it's nothing. I just never understood it. Overwatch trash this super chat and says there's a code that verifies your number. What does that mean? There's a code that verifies your number. <laughs> My number is public. That number was public since 2015. That number was on the internet. So how is that evidence? Like, what are you talking about? These people, see what I mean about these fucking people? And now this guy will probably talk about this all day. He'll just keep, it's what it's called. It's called moving the goalpost. So I'll say, no, what you're saying makes no sense. There's, you know, there's, that's not evidence of anything. 
So then they'll say something else ludicrous. I'll be like, okay, well, that's not evidence of anything. Then they'll say something else ludicrous. And then, you see what I mean? It's called moving the goalpost. They just keep pushing it further and further and further and further. Until I just get tired of answering. And I just don't want to talk about it anymore because I just don't want to fucking waste time on it. But then that, oh, see? So Phil couldn't answer every concern for three straight hours. So that means that it's all true. And that's how, that's how they win because they have time for that shit. <laughs> you know? I don't have time for that shit. I don't have time to answer every ludicrous accusation you have. You're just out of your fucking mind, man. Now people are saying, do you have to verify it? Verify what? The number. Verify what number? The phone number? What do you mean? They meant you have to verify the number with a code that sends a text to it. Okay? All right. Do you guys realize, and this is truthful, all, again, my emails, my phone numbers that I've had over the years, they're constantly hit with shit like that. Constantly. I mean it. Like, nonstop. Every day I get, did you sign up for this? Verify this. Say, here's a verification code. Here's a confirmation email. My fucking stupid home phone. All right? Which I've never used. I kid you not. I've never used my home phone number for anything. The only reason I have that home phone right there is because I do a bundle through Comcast that I save money if I keep the phone. If I got rid of that phone, the overall cost of my internet and phone would actually go up if I got rid of that phone. Okay? So I've never used that phone before for anything, that phone rings constantly. <laughs> constantly. It's solicitor shit. It's other. I've never used it. I've never even put that phone number on the internet, but it rings constantly because people got it and they sign it up for everything. Do you see what I'm saying? So I constantly am bothered by that shit. Everything. The, the, every phone line I've ever had, every email address I've ever had, constantly gets hit up for this. So how is that evidence of anything? They sent a verification request to the phone number. And... I get those constantly, all the time. <laughs> so what does that mean? Nothing. They need to get the code to confirm. How do they get it if you physically have the phone on you? What do you mean? You have to put in a code. Put in a code where? What are you talking about? Oh, you can't have a line account if you don't have a code. I don't know. There's no code that's ever been entered into a line account because I don't have a line account. It's... <laughs> But this is what I'm saying. Like, there's also forum posts and things out there in my name. And people are like, well, that's evidence that you have it because it's in your email and that forum is there. It's like, but I didn't do it. I didn't verify it. I ignore it. All that shit's on, like, blacklist. All, I get spam emails all the time of that kind of stuff. I just ignore it. So how did it work? I don't know. Maybe. Now, I don't know specifically if I'm talking about Line or whatever. But maybe these things allow you to create an account. All right? And as long as you have general information, the account sits there and it just, it's a dormant account. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure right now there's a million dummy accounts that are called Dark Side Phil on the internet that aren't me. But they created them using my information and they just sit there dormant, never used, but it still says that I'm a member. Like, what was it? Like, years ago, someone was like, Phil, we have evidence that you're, you're on a gay porn site. And I'm like, well, I have news for you. I'm not on a gay porn site. You know, I'm... I have nothing to do with that. I don't go to porn sites in general anyway, but I'm not part of a gay porn. But here's an account with your email associated with it. I'm like, and? You see what I'm saying? What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> so I don't, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I don't care. Like, you have to understand. I mean this too, because there's like 10, 20 people on this stream that are all talking about this right now. What you're, the, the stuff that you deal in is so disassociated from reality for most people like we don't care about your bullshit you understand that right like i just have to I, i'm sorry that I'm, I'm not trying to be insulting we have to understand that what you're saying and doing is so disassociated from normal life we don't sit there on the internet hashing out conspiracy theories and debunking them we don't we have lives normal people have like lives where we do stuff with our time we don't sit there on the internet with people like you debunking conspiracies and hashing up conspiracies. Like, I have, I have too much shit going on in my life that's important and meaningful to me, my family, my, my cat right here, Jasper Kitty. Give him a nice pet. I don't have time to, to worry about your bullshit. I don't. I really don't have time to worry about your bullshit that you make up about me every day. I'm not going to sit here and try to find a way to disprove every ridiculous thing that says about me because I have better things to do. I have a stream to put on right now. Right now, I'm trying to figure out where the vault is, guys. That's what I'm trying to do. Apparently, there's a vault 